Hello, hello, good afternoon. I'm still doing this reset. So yesterday in the afternoon, I put this steak. Uh, I marinated the steak. I put it in the refrigerator overnight. It's been sitting. It's got lime, uh, salt, pepper, oil, and uh, a little touch of ginger. Uh, oh, it also has garlic course i'm hispanic it has to have all those ingredients so i normally do not like to cook the steak as soon as i take it out of the refrigerator i usually like to leave it there uh after having it overnight uh preferably unless i'm in a rush and i gotta cook it right there um i like to leave it overnight and then once i leave it overnight and i'm ready to cook i do like to let it sit um for a good 45 to an hour just sit get room temperature um you know not in direct sunlight or nothing crazy like that but just room temperature and uh we will be back all right all right ladies and gentlemen so i did leave the steak out for about an hour and 10 minutes it is pretty room temperature I am in a truck, so my space is limited, but um, that onion's going to get chopped up, and I am waiting on the George Foreman. Oh, it already turned green, so I'm going to be grilling these steaks that I marinated um, basically overnight, so I'm going to drop some avocado oil right there, ah, 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 ah. spray it up right quick. Give me one second let me i only got one hand hold on so i put them right there I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes they're pretty thin so oh before i forget let me put some oil on the top they're pretty you know they're not that thick so we don't want to put them there for that that long i don't like my steaks so well done but i don't like them red like that neither so today we're gonna do some brown rice with some black beans and we're gonna have some steak with some onions. So I'm gonna cook the steak first and then I'm gonna, while the steak is cutting, I'm gonna dice up these onions and um, keep you guys posted. So we got the steak cooking. It's only been about two minutes it's been in there. I'm gonna leave it for maybe another five minutes. I'm gonna try to flip them over and then take them out three or four minutes after that um, probably leave it for a minute longer I already diced up the the sweet onions here um, so I got a small amount for basically the rice and beans and then I got these large cut ones here I don't know my my phone I need to get a new phone uh, but yeah, I got these big ones here for the steak. Uh, so I'm going to take the steak out and then I'm going to dump this in there for like a couple minutes in the George Foreman. And then these, I'm going to put it in a skillet. These right here, I'm going to put them in a skillet and uh, save this for another day, probably for some chicken. Um, and yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Got the, got the grease over here. You know, we don't want to eat that. I can smell it. It smells delicious. My mouth is getting watery already. I could, you know, smell the the lime. I could smell the, the ginger, the garlic. It's really good. Really, really good. They're looking really good. Can't wait to eat those. All right, so we back. We back in action. You guys ready? You ready? Let's check this out. Look at all that grease, man. Look at all that grease, man. That's why I love the George Foreman. Woo! Look at those lines. Yo, I really need to get a new phone. Wow. Wow. This one's ready. So, these are ready. You Normally, when you do meat, I'm sure you guys know, but... You don't want to cut it or nothing. You want to kind of let it sit for a little bit. And, you know, 
basically cool down so I'm gonna put the phone down real quick put these pick these up put them in a plate and basically cover them up with a this aluminum foil and basically you know just let it cool down for a little bit stay right there and this focus on the camera is pretty bad well yep yeah, um, so I took out the meat and I put in the onions I'm gonna leave them there for like maybe five minutes and then um, look at all that grease man from just four little skinny patties it's crazy I love the George Foreman man but yep so they're looking delicious just let them cool down for a little bit and I'm gonna tell you guys you gotta cut you gotta cut let it cool down and then we're gonna cut against the green so we can get a nice tender bite out of these but first let me do the onions and then you know before I start eating try it out and then I'm gonna finish cooking the rice and beans and stuff all right let's look at these onions for the steak Woo! perfect perfect you don't want them to be burnt and you want them to be you know nice and brown like that you know maybe a little bit maybe a little bit but uh, I'm gonna take these off right now they're nice and beautiful these are sweet onions give me a second man I know my focus on the camera is pretty bad man but those steaks are looking delicious Little, you know, and what's up with this focus? It's so really bad. So I had to turn the camera around. Maybe you guys get a better look at them. I'm gonna let them cool down for a little bit, and then I'm gonna cut against the grain and take a little bite. All right, all right. I'm gonna take a little bite. I've been dying to try this. Yes, look at this. Juicy, juicy. If you don't like onions, you know you could take them out. Excuse my hair. I got dreads. I gotta get my my hair retwisted, but this looks good. Mm. Cutting another little piece. Wow. It tastes really good. It tastes really, really good. I kind of, well, this one's kind of the smaller one, so this one did cook a little bit more than what I normally do like cooking it. But check this out. It's perfect. Perfect. So, like I said before, I am on a diet. So, I am still going to cook the, the rice and beans. And I'm going to leave these steaks for tomorrow. Um, but this is pretty much what I'm going to eat today. The steaks with the avocado and the little salad underneath trying to get in shape tomorrow I'm gonna start working out again um, and yeah this is pretty much what I'm gonna eat today that's my food right there and uh, we'll keep up with the video right now